Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gav Gavla, Gavi Joe. Welcome to Gavi Joe Gamer. Today we're having a look at the faction focus for 10th edition for the Grey Knights, the Psychic Boys. Um, I've never played the Grey Knights, I've never seen the Grey Knights anywhere. Does anyone play them? They look a really cool army, but I've just I've never seen them anywhere. Um anyway, let's have a look what they do in 10th edition. If you're looking to buy some Grey Knights, please check out the link down below for Tabletop Republic for all your 40k goods and needs. Good people, good leagues and tournaments, good prices. Go check them out. Okay, the Grey Knights army rule is Teleport Assault. If your army faction is Grey Knights at the end of your opponent's turn, you can select a number of Grey Knights units from your army with this ability. Excluding units that are in, within engagement range of one or more enemy units. The maximum number of units you can select depends on the battle size as follows. Combat Patrol, which is 500 points, is 1. Incursion is 2. Strike Force is 3. And Onslaught is 4. So 2,000 points, you can take 3 units. Once you have made your selections, remove these units from the battlefield. In the reinforcement step of your next move phase, Set each of these units up anywhere on the battlefield more than 9 inches horizontally away from any models. Wow. That's, uh... Hmm. That's pretty good. Deep Strike. Uh, which is the key word now that they're using for Mantra Strike and Deep Strike Teleport out, blah blah blah. Declare battle formation set and every model and unit has the ability you can set up in the reserves instead of setting it up on the battlefield. If you do, in a reinforcement step of your movement phase, you put it nine inches away. So three units in a two count two thousand point game. You can move them, maybe they're in trouble, like right, see you later, we're going up. Uh, the detachment rule is teleport shunt. Each time a Grey Knight's unit within with the Deep Strike ability advances, do not make an advance fall. Instead, until the end of the phase, add six inches to that unit's move counters and they can fly. Okay. That's quite strong. Uh, range weapons. Uh, the Incinerator is their Flamer. That's strength six. That's pretty nice. At uh, 12 inches, the Psy Cannon. Uh, is strength 8, AP minus 1, 2 damage, and the Storm Bolter is the normal. Um, melee, they've got close combat weapons, which is punching people. And the Nemesis Force weapon is strength 6, AP minus 2, 2 damage. Um, so they have Deep Strike, the per Purgation Squad. Purgation. What odd name. They've got the Teleport Assault, Astral Aim. In your shooting phase, ranged weapons equipped... Buy models in this unit have the indirect fire ability. In your shooting phase, range weapons equipped by models in this unit. Astral aim psychic. Provided the target of the weapon is visible to one other friendly. Oh. Wow. So you could deep strike someone behind enemy lines as hides and be like, yeah, yeah, let's. You know, they're over there. Shoot. That's um, okay. That seems pretty strong. Grand Master in Nemesis Dread Knight uh, is T8 movement 8. Four objective control, 30 wounds, two up, save. Excuse me. Range weapon, the Gatling Silencer with a P is psychic, sustained hits 1. 12 attacks, strength 6. No AP 1 damage, very low AP there, but the Psychic Cannon is strength 10, AP minus 1, 3 damage with 6 attacks, that's pretty nice. Uh, the Dread Fists are 6 attacks, at strength 6, AP minus 1, 1 damage. Okay, Nemesis Demon Great Hammer is strength 14, AP minus 1, D6 plus 1 damage. Woo! The Great Sword is strength 10, AP minus 2, D6. And the Great Sword Sweep is strength 5, AP minus 1, ten, uh, one damage with 10. Oh, excuse me. With uh, 10 attacks. Mm. They've got a deep strike. 
uh, and they've also got the Deadly Demise and Teleport Assault. The Surge of Wrath Psychic Power or Ability is once per battle in the fight phase, one model from your army with this ability can use it before resolving its attacks. It does until the end of the phase. Each time that model makes an attack, that targets a muscle vehicle, you can re-roll the hit and re-roll the wound and re-roll the damage. Oh my lord. Once per battle round in the fight phase, one model from your army. That's really strong. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Heroism's favor. Each time you're tar you target this model with a stratagem, it only costs one CP, even if the CP is higher. It's got a four up in bun and it's only damaged down uh, plus one to the hit wound. Uh, yeah, sorry, subtract one from the hit. I always get subtract and plus wrong because it should be you're adding one on if it's hitting from four. To me, damage one to four, wounds remaining. They look pretty strong. Is it just me? Purifying Flame it is anti infantry 2, ignores cover psychic. It's range 18, it's got one attack. Um, hitting on freeze, AP minus 4. Oh, sorry, a strength 4, AP minus 1, 1 damage. Purifying Flame. Okay. Hallowed. Hallowed. <laughs> in Sulfite. It's Sunday. I've been chilling all day today. The sun's been out. I'm tired. Hallowed in Soul Fire is a stratagem for two CP. It's a teleport strike force battle tactic stratagem. It's in your movement phase. One Grey Knight Psyker from your army that is arriving using the Deep Strike ability or teleport soul. Until the start of your next movement phase, your unit cannot be targeted by range attacks unless the attacking model is within 12. I mean, you're going to be within range of someone anyway. Um, it just means that probably the only the unit that you're targeting to charge and that deep strike can target you. Radiant Strike. Um, one Grey Knight Psyker from this unit. Until the end of the phase, melee weapons equipped with your models and the unit with Psychic Ability also have Devastating Wounds. Woo! Okay. That's 2 CP though. That's the most expensive one. Okay, that's all for Grey Knights. Uh, they look pretty strong. I'm going to say there's a lot of stuff going on there, but in terms of uh, Psychic, uh, you know, Psy Cannon, you know, is Smite now gone then? Maybe it is. But they look pretty strong. They look quite interesting, Army. To I've never played them. I've never seen anyone play them. Um, so it would be really interesting to play. Yes, I guess they were a good thousand sons, are they? I don't really know. I don't really know much about their lore either. Next week, on Monday, is the Drukari. Um, those nasty little elf torturing dudes and ladies, dudettes. Um, then who else have we got left um, to, to see? Let's have a look. We've seen pretty much everyone. I think it's just the... Um, you know, for Space Marines, are they going to have... Are they going to show us Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Death Watch, Imperial Fist, Ultramarines, Salamanders? Are they going to be a thing anymore or not? That'd be quite interesting. We've seen Sisters, Custodes, Mechanicus, Astra Militarum, Knights. Nothing for the Inquisition. Um, we've seen Demons, Chaos Knights, Chaos Space Marines, Death Guard, Thousand Sons, Wild Ears. We've seen all those. Aldari, Drakari, we're seeing next. Gene Steeler Cops, we haven't seen, so it'll be them two. Necrons, we've seen. Orcs, we've seen. Tau, we've seen. Tyranids, we've seen. And Votan, we've seen. So, it's going to be Drakari, Gene Steeler Cops next week, but are we going to see any of the Space Marine stuff? I want to see what my Blood Angels are doing. I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy my stuff, please like and subscribe. If you leave a thumbs down, just uh, give me some feedback. You know, let me know why it's a thumbs down. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe I've got a terrible voice. Maybe my face is disgusting to look at. Something like that would be much appreciated. Anyway, guys, as always, take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.